Welcome to our AMA. It's been a minute since I've hosted one of these. Um, but yeah, we'll be talking about Meter, and I'm so glad that uh, one of them has actually came out and actually, you know, uh, hopped on this AMA. Super excited to hear what the special guest has to share with us today and, you know, what Meter Chain is all about as well. So without further ado, I'm just going to kickstart this AMA. Once again, thank you all for coming in and, you know, tuning in. Um, so, you know, I read your bio on Twitter and it is pretty interesting that you mentioned engineer who happens to know enough finance to be dangerous. So can you introduce yourself to the audience, please? Uh, yeah, sure. First, uh, it's my great pleasure to uh, come to this AMA. Um, yeah, my name is uh, Xiaohan Zhu. I've uh, been working on Meter uh, since 2018. Personally, yeah, I have a mixed engineering and finance background. I got into crypto back in uh, 2016. So before that, uh, I was like, I have like pure engineering background and then uh, I was running a venture capital fund. Um, back in 2016, like uh, we started investing in fintech and blockchain. That's how I got into the space. Um, so after uh, that, basically things start uh, like, Basically, cryptocurrency started taking off. Uh, we started investing in crypto as well. But during the process, I just kind of feel, hey, crypto is actually like a, a mega trend to me. Um, as a builder background, uh, I would rather build something for the uh, community instead of just investing other people's money. So in 2018, basically decided to, to just uh, start working on a meter. And I've uh, been working in that uh, since then. Okay, that sounds pretty cool. So, um, can you tell the audience, you know, a little bit more about Meter ecosystem and what it solves, and what drove you to build, you know, Meter infrastructure? Maybe in in a way, uh, even like a five year old could understand. You know, you seem like a very smart guy. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So it would be a lot easier for our audience to also understand this entire like infrastructure and you know the ecosystem as well. Um, yeah, so Meter, we actually started the project initially tried to complete uh, Satoshi's original vision. So at that time, so, uh, basically, people were talking about building a sound money um, that's uh, independent of the fiat system. So but like uh, Satoshi's uh, original vision was to create an electronic cash, right? But the thing is, Bitcoin was not uh, uh, a stable currency. It actually like very volatile. People are treating it more like a, a speculative asset, uh, like digital gold, instead of uh, a transaction currency. So at that time, initially, we were thinking, "Hey, how can we use the original concept to create something that's uh, like purchasing power stable? Uh, that is actually a sum money can be used in the uh, future virtualized economy." So that's when we started the project to build, uh, use a proof of work to create uh, a cryptocurrency that's uh, uh, long-term stable in purchasing power. But uh, while we were doing that, uh, uh, we realized, hey, we actually have to like change the consensus for Bitcoin. Uh, that's a lot of work. If we do that, uh, we probably should just uh, also solve the uh, scaling issue for uh, cryptocurrency. So we basically added the state-of-the-art uh, consensus protocol uh, into uh, the mix. So at the end, uh, we created uh, the Meter blockchain. Uh, it's a high performance, uh, but very highly decentralized uh, blockchain. Uh, the consensus protocol uh, we use is called uh, Hustuff. Uh, very similar to, like, you probably heard of the project, like, Three or Aptos. We're actually, like, um, much earlier than them in terms of, like, time to market. And also, uh, Meter is uh, Ethereum compatible. Basically, we want to, to be able to support uh, a crypto economy uh, that uh, was all the, like, uh, financial and gaming type of applications running on top of it. So, we made it Ethereum compatible. And also, uh, 
we have some unique features like front running resistant, meaning like if you trade on any DEXs or like DAPs uh, on the meter network, uh, there won't be like bot trying to take advantage of your, of your transactions, uh, front running your transactions. So that's uh, basically what meter is. It's a, a Ethereum high performance Ethereum scaling solution. Um, and also we have a built in uh, mana stable or like uh, the long term purchasing power stable currency and also have some unique features like for running the resistance and other things yeah wow that's that's amazing to hear i mean you know it's it's really nice that you guys are working on this entire idea and this vision as well and um i believe you mentioned something that caught my attention uh something to do with hybrid proof of value consensus like mechanism as well perhaps you can explain a little bit more about that and hot stuff and you know uh give us some like uh use case examples and what are the advantage of all of that as well uh yeah sure so actually uh the way we created that uh like stable currency is to actually prove a work because we believe that's a like most decentralized and uh, uncheatable way to link the cryptocurrency the virtual world with the physical with the values in the physical world so like if you actually look at the process uh, of proof of work is actually uh, very intense uh, miners basically they have to first purchasing like mining gears and then they have to like bring electricity in the real world in order to uh, mine the cryptocurrency. So we utilize uh, their like profit chasing behaviors for the miners. So in order to create uh, one uh, MTR, which is our like stable currency, um, the miner have to like um, basically use 10 kilowatt hour of electricity in the real world. Uh, using uh, Bitcoin miners, um, so their behavior will create a like economic uh, equilibrium to the cost of uh, electricity essentially. So you will see the like MTR fluctuate around uh, the cost of production um, around. I mean, for ten kilowatt hour electricity using Bitcoin miners, mainstream Bitcoin miners, right now is about like one to two dollar range. So, um, yeah, so that's how we created the, uh, the mana stable coin. But the thing is that because miners are profit chasing, so they only, they only created the uh, cryptocurrency, the stable coin, when um, there's a demand for it. So you cannot rely on the miners to protect the network like what Bitcoin does. So in order to provide security to the system, we use the proof of stake uh, through our governance token, the MTRG governance token. So, um, because uh, like proof of stake essentially uh, is just helping uh, all the nodes in the network to quickly uh, reach consensus or like uh, have the same view of the uh, status of different accounts, uh, things like that. So basically, it's a computer science issue, synchronizing the database across different networks. So that can be done very efficiently and have very high performance. So that's when we uh, basically use the state of art uh, consensus protocol to facilitate that process. And uh, that can help us to reach uh, like finality, it means like all the transactions are final within all the blocks. So at the end of the day, we use proof of work to create the uh, economic consensus and proof of stake uh, to create the uh, uh, database or like security uh, for the network. So that's a hybrid uh, proof of value consensus uh, Yeah, talked about uh, in our white paper essentially. We believe uh, we can combine the value of, I mean, like benefit of both worlds. That's amazing to hear. So just to sum it up, you know, um, the benefits of like separating proof of work and proof of stake would be energy efficiency and then fast transactions, uh, avoiding the very traditional, you know, uh, proof of stake problems. And then I, I believe there would be uh, enhanced security as well, right? 
Yeah, so basically proof of works uh, benefit is mainly they are permissionless. You don't need to own anything to like start uh, like mining in the in the network. So that's uh, we believe that's the most decentralized way. Mm -hmm. So we provide that entry to the network and also yeah using proof of stake to provide performance and security to the network. Mm -hmm. Got it. So, you know, you, you brought up the MTR token as well. I believe that is Meter's token. So can you tell the audience a little bit more about Meter's to tokenomics? What are the utilities, the features, where they can purchase it? And what are the differences between MTR and MTRG as well? Since we have like an entire lending pool and farming pools for them as well. Yeah. So basically, uh, we have two tokens in the system. One is that... Uh, the flag coin, the uh, stable coin we were talking about, uh, it's called MTR. It's created by proof of work, and uh, basically, in order to create it, uh, everyone has to mine. Uh, there's no like pre mining or anything. We use the token as a uh, gas for transaction fees in the network. Uh, to protect the security of the network, we have a governance token called MTRG. Um, so that's a staking token in the network. In order, for example, to run a validator, uh, you will have to own a 2000 MTRG, for example, to start a validator in the network. Currently, we have uh, more than 350 validator in, nodes in the network. Uh, before we reach 500, uh, there is there will be like special delegation from the uh, foundation to provide uh, additional yields for the validator. Right now, it's around 20% for like uh, if you like run your own validator node. Uh, otherwise, if you just stake your token, uh, that's uh, around 10 percent -ish. Um So because the uh, network uh, is uh, EDM compatible, so you can imagine like uh, uh, MTR is uh, is the uh, equivalent of ETH in the network uh, for gas. Uh, that MTRG it, it is actually a native token. But we provided a ERC20 interface for like a easier integration with uh, DApps and uh, um, other uh, wallet and etc. So basically, you will have to like have the uh, token address in the network. I mean, in the wallet uh, in order to see it. Um, so uh, right now, you can get the uh, uh, MTR at MTRG uh, from uh, io. Uh, MEXC, uh, and also you can get MTRG uh, on KuCoin. Um, we know like uh, there's a, maybe a little bit of headache in order to get the gas token when you come to the network. So whenever you bridge uh, any tokens uh, into the network, the bridge will automatically uh, provide you some MTR token to get started. Also, we provided uh, the gasless swap. It's also you can see it on the bridge, passport.meter.io and also wallet.meter.io to see the gasless swap to help you to like swap for MTR without only any uh, MTR to get started. So yeah, that's uh, how you could uh, get started uh, in the network. Uh, and I, I believe uh, Single Finance uh, did a really great job in exposing some of the uh, uh, mining uh, you know, farming opportunities uh, on, the, on the network. Um, right now, I think uh, single finance is integrated uh, with our uh, the DAX, uh, the main DAX on the network called Volswap. But we have uh, other like two DAX that's launching in the next couple of weeks. Um, yeah, hopefully uh, there will be like integration of single finance uh, very soon as well. Uh, yeah, provide additional farming opportunities uh, on these DAXs. That's uh, that's something I can definitely forward this to the dev team, of course, and you can always bring it up in the group chat since you know we're all pretty much uh, been in contact for a while as well. Um, yes, and yeah, I, I sure. do believe, yeah, I do believe you know um, one of the headaches is definitely bridging over to meter, especially for people who has just recently entered you know the the crypto space as well. They're not they're not really like knowledgeable about how to bridge, and you know they they don't even know they can bridge so. I believe that's something um, we can definitely work together on, you know, providing more awareness to to the community or even just the DeFi space or the crypto space. Um, so, um, if you guys are yeah, interested, sure. yeah, 
if the audience is interested, uh, you guys can definitely check out our bridging tutorial. We did draft, uh, we did, you know, post it, uh, one of the thread where we taught people how to bridge from Arbitrum to, well, actually from Chronos to Arbitrum, from Arbitrum to Meter, using Meter Passport uh, uh, to bridge from Arbitrum. So if you guys are interested, you guys can definitely have a look. I'm going to post it underneath this uh, thread as well. Uh, um, so, yeah. Okay. Um, yeah, so we right know from Arbitrum, the easiest way is to like bridge USDC. That bridge is powered by layer zero. Um, and then after you get the USDC on the meter network, you can use the uh, the gasless swap to swap a little bit. Uh, hey, are you there? <laughs> oh yeah, sorry. <laughs> There's uh, like a call. Just uh, disrupt uh, my uh, my conversation. So yeah, I was just saying the easiest way uh, to bridge into meter from Arbitrum is to bridge USDC, um, and then after you got onto meter, uh, you can use the gasless swap. The link is available on the bridge passport.meter.io, um, and or like uh, there's a gas thin can hand, can help you to send uh, get some MTR to get started. Then you should be uh, ready to go. Yep. So when you guys created this, you know, meter passport, um, were you guys aware of this entire hassle as well? Or is that something you guys were like, okay, this is one of the pain points that the users are going to face, so we're going to create our entire meter passport uh, solution? Yeah, actually, uh, the meter passport bridge is one of the first bridge uh, that launched uh, uh, in the uh, blockchain space. Um, so at the time, like... Uh, we were like, because, uh, yeah, we were like well aware of the uh, the issue from the very beginning and uh, been working on like blockchain interoperability uh, related things. Uh, so, for example, we were helping uh, Avalanche to run their initial bridge uh, as well. Um, so, right now, the uh, the meter passport is uh, uh, like monosig type of uh, bridge very similar to like most of the uh, the mainstream bridge solutions but it's already on the uh, the second revision we have like five professional validators uh, uh, from like uh, they are like professional validating service providers and they are like securing the uh, the bridge um, and it has been like audited uh, very thoroughly by uh, Hachi audit uh, we have the audit report uh, available. Um, in the GitHub, so it has been like pretty fast and stable uh, and secure uh, for I believe uh, two years or so already. Yeah, I can definitely vouch for that. You know, I had no issue with uh, bridging over, and I can tell you guys it's very safe and secure as well. So I can definitely vouch for that. Okay, so um, you know, one of the things that I realized when I was um, bridging were, you know, some of the tokens, um, especially for some networks, there weren't like tokens that I would want to bridge. Are you guys planning to add more tokens to, to the networks or, you know, there were some tokens I, I've never heard of as well. So uh, is there going to be any other solution apart from that? Like, are you guys planning to add more tokens? Yeah, so uh, which uh, network uh, in particular were you looking at? Um, Do you mind sharing? Uh, let me just quickly look at it as well. I think there was, uh, I believe you guys won't be supporting Binance, right? Uh, one of the BUSD. Oh, yeah. Yeah, because uh, Binance uh, the retired BUSD. Mm -hmm. So we initially supported BUSD. Then we have to like remove it because of that. Mm -hmm. uh, right now, like uh, on BSC to meter, there's only like uh, our governance token MTRG and mm -hmm. DMB. Yeah. So we are still debating like uh, which stablecoin to support uh, from BSE because uh, USDC is not really officially supporting uh, like Binance Smart Chain. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, maybe like a USDT. So yeah, yep. so we'll definitely like uh, look into that uh, to uh, smooth the uh, transaction. I mean, like uh, onboarding because we were also in discussion with us. Uh, Stargate mm -hmm. to uh, enable like other stable coins, 
and waiting for their like a V2 release. Mm -hmm. So that actually caused a, a little bit delay on like what like token to support. But if they couldn't like release their V2 uh, in the next month or two, we'll probably just add uh, USDT from BSC. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Got it. And um, are you guys planning to add more chains? For example, you know, most of our users are on Kronos and uh, we did get a lot of questions from them asking that, hey, uh, it seems like Meter, it. Yeah. Uh, they do not support, uh, you know, they have their own like CDC, like DeFi wallet as well. And, you know, it's not supported at the moment. Um, are you guys planning to add, you know, the Kronos chain as well to, for Meter Passport or is that something that's not in the plan right now? <laughs> so... We were actually uh, like supporting layer zero as well in the uh, in the UI. So, but layer zero is not available on Kronos either, right? Uh, no, it's not. <laughs> yeah. So I think the only thing is like uh, the onboarding different. Uh, for example, if we support a stable coin, uh, like we need to have like some official issuer for the stable coin uh, on the network. But in order to be secure, that's the only uh, gauging item. We'll definitely look into like Kronos, see like uh, what are the best ways to support uh, more asset uh, bridging from Kronos to uh, Meter. Yeah, yeah, that'd be great actually, because um, we do have a lot of users that do want to hop over to Meter, but since they're using DeFi wallet, it's um, it's something that's gonna that's going to be like you know an, an extra step where they have to open a MetaMask wallet and then bridge their Kronos token from uh, one chain to another chain and then finally to Meter as well. So that's one of the pain points we have been, you know, uh, we have yeah, to... Yeah, that's definitely a great feedback. Uh, we'll, we'll, we'll look into that and see how can we address that. I mean, address that problem, yeah. Thank you, thank you. Yeah, that would be great, actually. And, um, <laughs> oh, I see someone in the, the crowd. Okay, um, so... You know, you guys are working on something really cool. You guys have told us, you know, um, you guys are doing really, really cool stuff, right? But I do want to ask you, since you guys have been in this industry, in this space for a while and been building, what has been the most formidable, like, challenge that Meter has faced so far? Yeah, I mean, like, uh, obviously, uh, in this space, it's all about, uh, like, getting attention and, uh, like, uh, uh, users, right? So, yeah, that has been, like, uh, uh, things that we continuously uh, try to improve. So, for example, uh, recently we passed a, a, a governance proposal. Uh, basically, there's uh, 15 million uh, of uh, NTRG token. Uh, I think worth around maybe, like, 30 to $40 million. Uh, we will basically allocate that to, like, different uh, user incentives uh, uh, in order to like uh, have more activities uh, in the network, so you will be uh, like looking at uh, various uh, like uh, airdrop and uh, like user incentive programs uh, that are launching in the network soon. I would say, yeah. That sounds really exciting. And um, if I'm not mistaken, you know, when I first got into the, when I first started working in the Web three space, I believe Blur were Blur. I'm not sure if you know Blur, but uh, yeah, yeah. yeah. At marketplace, I believe they did the airdrop stunt, and it got a lot of users excited. And you know, the a lot that of was, uh, just uh, like uh, November or December last year, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, something yeah. long. So yeah. we, we actually uh, will launch uh, in a meter network. Uh, there's a synthetic asset protocol uh, that's actually multi chain, and also um, we're looking at that, like they will launch uh, in the next month or two. So basically, uh, we will launch a referral point system and also have a meter referral point system as well. Very similar to the uh, the, the blur style system like uh, you were talking about. So that will translate to uh, airdrop both uh, in the, uh, the project is called the Sumer, uh, the Sumer token. And also if you have activities on the meter network, uh, you will get... Uh, uh, meter MTRG airdrops as well. Yeah, that's pretty so that's cool. The same. We're going to launch in the next month or so. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so everyone, you know, uh, you guys should follow Meter on uh, Twitter and you know join their Discord, join their Telegram, um, so you guys do not miss out this exciting airdrop opportunity as well. And once you guys 
are in the community, feel free to ask any question. They're really, really helpful as well. Um, so, you know, this, this sounds all exciting. And I do want to ask, um, you know, you guys were talking about, you know, onboarding more users. Um, and I know building a community is super hard. And you guys have a lot of, like, um, a lot of projects or a lot of protocols that are going to be, you know, launching on Meter. Um, is, are there any other, you know, um, exciting projects or exciting protocols that you can show on this AMA as well? Or like, so that the users can also know, oh, it's not just uh, single finance doing leverage yield farming and there's, there's just, um, they're not just like, you know, going to be two more DEXs there. Uh, and are there any other like protocols that you could show and say, hey, you guys should definitely check this out on Meter as well? Yeah, uh, definitely. Um, for example, uh, the Synthetic Asset uh, Lending Borrowing Protocol, uh, that's called uh, like Sumer, uh, has uh, already launched a meter and uh, will launch the token soon. Uh, you can go to the website as uh, uh, sumer.money. Uh, there are also other like uh, applications on the network, like for example, there's a uh, GameFi, DeFi uh, type of application. There's a uh, there's a project called Business Builder. They built a really cool, like three D gaming uh, type of uh, like I mean three D uh, immersive gaming uh, type of uh, like uh, applications. Uh, there's also like mobile gaming uh, called uh, like Dragon Master. Um, and uh, yeah, there's a like if you go to uh, Meteor.io ecosystems. Uh, you can see like a whole bunch of uh, things uh, that you can uh, try and play out uh, on the meter network. Wow, that sounds all pretty exciting. I'm going to definitely check them out as well. Uh, I believe you can check most of this stuff out on DeFi Llama as well, just in case if you guys uh, don't know where to search this, you guys can definitely go on DeFi Llama, go on the chains, and then go on, just click on navigate to like meter chain. You'll be able to see most of them. Um, yeah. So also, uh, there's a perp trading platform called uh, Tigris, T-I-G-R-I-S. Uh, mm -hmm. Yeah, so you can like uh, trade a lot of different uh, asset uh, perps, uh, and also uh, uh, there's a uh, Izumi Finance. Uh, that's uh, that's another DAX. Uh, there's a few that's not listed uh, on DeFi Lama page yet. So if you check out our ecosystem, you will see them. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's pretty cool, and um, you know, you you brought up trading, and you know, just just this recent like you know this little bull uh, bull run, there has been a lot of narratives around you know meme tokens on Solana, right? Um, uh -huh. Are you guys thinking about you know welcoming you know some meme 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 coins or meme tokens as well? Since you know it has been getting a lot of traction, and the whole entire narrative has switched to Solana meme coins as well. Yeah, actually, uh, we are welcoming uh, meme coins uh, to the network, and uh, we can also, for example, one of the issue for meme coins uh, like initial liquidity, right? So if you can show some like tractions in the community, we can even help you to bootstrap the initial liquidity pool uh, on the network. So yeah, that's definitely uh, one of the things we're welcoming uh, to the network. That's for sure, man. Like, if you guys are ever thinking about building a community around, like, meme tokens, you know, I believe one of the strongest community in the, the Web3 space and the crypto space is definitely the meme meme community. I I'm not too sure why, but... Yeah, but yeah People so, like, uh, like, fun stuff, and also fair distribution, I guess, yeah. Yeah, so if you guys are interested, definitely, you know, start building there, and you guys can also reach out to Meter. They're going to be super helpful with this entire thing as well. Um, it will be a win-win situation for both parties because it's going to give volume to to meter. At the same time, you guys can build something on the meter chain as well. It's lightning fast. So remember, guys, if you guys are ever thinking about building something, you guys can start off with meme coins. And then, of course, if you guys have more sophisticated, complicated ideas that actually solves real-life you know, problems and you, you guys can come up with some applications, that would be great too. Yes, for yeah. sure. Like, uh, we have a developer... Uh support program so like uh, if you're interested in building anything uh feel free to reach out to us and uh we can support you like uh, in various ways mm -hmm. um i believe you guys have some grant programs too so you got you, yeah. you should tell the audience about the grant program yeah so basically uh the grant program um 
because typically, like, uh, there are different parts. Uh, for example, uh, depend on applications, we can help you to, like, bootstrap initial liquidity. We can help you to provide uh, some incentives uh, for uh, attracting, I mean, creating, like, higher yields for the users uh, to attract more users. Uh, and also, yeah, depend on the application, you may get, like, some deployment uh, type of uh, brand as well when you deploy on the network. Yeah. Um, so you guys can definitely check that out as well. I believe it's in their Git, Git book as well. Um, so yeah, it's uh, on our website as well. I mean, just go to our, our website. You can see the, uh, the application link to the grant. Yeah, it's on the front page. It's on the front page. It's meter.io, so that's M-E-T-E-R. Dot io so anyone that's interested in building some cool stuff and you know getting an actual getting actual support from the entire foundation you guys should definitely check out meter as well so you know we, we've been talking a lot about the present and the past um what's next on the roadmap for for meter yeah so we have quite uh, uh, some stuff on the on the plate so we're um, in the process of uh, uh, launching a bridge, a native bridge to BTC, um, collaborating with uh, one of the top team uh, in the space, uh, and also the meter network. Right now, uh, you have to use the MTRG, the governance token, to start validators. We will open up uh, more diversity uh, in terms of uh, the tokens that can start validators. For example, you'll be able to use uh, um, like. Uh, uh, Bitcoin or like uh, even like uh, restaked uh, Ethereum on the network. Uh, there's also like partners uh, that bring in uh, restaked uh, Ethereum on the network, obviously. Um, so we're looking forward to, to have Meter be one of the uh, uh, fastest and uh, most secure uh, connections that can function as a L2 for Bitcoin. Um, and also, we're looking at uh, other uh, innovations like uh, decentralized sequencer for various uh, L2s because we have uh, one of the most advanced uh, and decentralized uh, uh, validated network uh, in the industry. So that's one of the things we can help uh, uh, other L2s uh, to quickly decentralize by providing them a decentralized sequencer and DA type of uh, service. Um, yeah, so, and also the, uh, the uh, point system, uh, the referral point system that will link to uh, airdrops uh, in the next month or two. So, yeah, I think uh, there's uh, quite a lot of things uh, that's coming. It sounds really interesting. And, you know, I believe once people are aware of, like, meter, um, you guys are going to blow up, that's for sure. Especially when you say, oh, you guys are going to enable, like, BTC and also, like, EVE. You guys just need that one, that one maybe partnership. Uh, it's just going to blow up, and everyone's going to be hopping on the meter bandwagon as well. Um, yeah, we certainly uh, hope so. <laughs> yeah, that's for sure. I, you know, you just got to keep building. This space is just all about building, and you know, not just just not giving up. Like it took some time for Bitcoin to blow up as well, so it's just about building for now. Um, you know, you sound like a very smart dude, engineering and finance background. Um, so I'm going to ask you a little bit about, you know, uh, what do you think is in store for, you know, DeFi and the crypto space in 2024 and 2025, given that, you know, the Bitcoin halving is coming soon. Uh, what do you think is in store? Um, yeah, so that's a very interesting question. I think uh, right now cryptocurrency um, is... Is actually more, uh, I would say, correlated uh, with uh, the monetary policy of the, uh, for example, U.S. dollars uh, monetary policy. So in 2024, you will see the Fed will st like stop uh, inflation I and mean, then like the rate hikes and gradually moving into maybe like uh, cutting rates towards the end of the year. So you will see like more uh, liquidity flow into the space. And as cryptocurrency, I always see cryptocurrency as a, if you look at a, a, like a lever, the cryptocurrency is on the far end of the lever. 
So if the market moves, it actually moves uh, uh, in like wider and uh, moves higher uh, compared to other assets. So I think once there's uh, more uh, liquidity uh, seeking for returns, there will be like uh, a major wave coming uh, probably maybe in the second half of the year. Um, yeah, Bitcoin halving is obviously every time like when Bitcoin halves, um, the return is is pretty significant uh, uh, in the one year following the half. We'll see if it's uh, still the case for this round. Obviously, the uh, the miners' uh, impact on the market has become smaller and smaller. So we'll see. Yep. And, you know, what's surprising to me is, I believe that I read this um, a day or two ago, um, you know, El Salvador is, given that, you know, you, when you study, like, the history of fiat currency, now people are actually using that as, like, a legal tender, for example, El, El Salvador, right? And they mm -hmm. made a surprising uh, profit of, I believe it was $406 million just just from, like, you know, uh, holding on to that and making it, like, a legal tender as well. So, do you think in the future, you know, Bitcoin's going to be, or even, like, you know, cryptocurrency is going to be a way for most countries to do legal tender? Um, I actually thought there will be, a, like, a legal tender in most countries. It's going to be treated more like a, a digital gold or, like, like an alternative asset reserve. Uh, for, I mean, I think uh, fundamentally, like a lot of governments, those especially in those governments, have uh, uh, a lot of political controls. They are like unwilling to uh, give up to like uh, like a completely sovereign, independent uh, currency. Uh, but uh, in most uh, like uh, weaker countries, I think there is definitely a, a chance. For them to show some disciplined uh, monetary policy, yeah, mm -hmm. uh, it's actually like uh, one of the reasons uh, we started working on the uh, proof of work based uh, like uh, stablecoin. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's uh, it's a very solid you know answer as well, and I wholeheartedly agree with you as well. Uh, I just thought it was something interesting that I read, and I would ask you as well since you guys, uh, you know, created this entire ecosystem book because of that. Um, okay, um, you know, I've pretty much asked you most of the questions that I wanted to ask you, and uh, I'm not too sure if the audience will have any questions, but I'm just going to give them the opportunity to ask uh, some questions. If they have some questions, maybe you guys can either raise your hand or request to speak or just drop the, the question in the, in the thread. So I can just read it out loud and, you know, uh, we can hopefully answer it for you. So I'll give it about 30 seconds. And then if not, then we're just going to uh, say our farewells and, you know, we're just going to close the AMA and end it. <laughs> Okay, I believe um, no one has any questions. So, yeah, I've pretty much asked most of the questions. Uh, if there's anything else that you want to, you know, bring it up or you want to tell the audience about, feel free to do so right now before we end the AMA as well. Yeah, sure. Like, uh, we really appreciate uh, Single Finance to deploy on the Meter Network. And, uh, yeah, we're all basically looking into, like, the best ways to support you guys in the next couple of weeks. And, uh, yeah, we'd love to have you guys uh, come to the Meter community uh, to share about single finance as well. Yeah, love to uh, see more uh, results from this uh, collaboration, yeah. That's for sure. I mean, I think, you know, um, in each and every uh, ecosystem, there's always going to be a leverage yield farm protocol as well. And we're yeah. just glad that we're the first one on Meter. And we're also hoping we're going to have a really, you know, fruitful long-term relationship. And we're going to bring in some more users to Meter Chain or even more users to single finance. Um, we're going to try 
our hardest, of course, to see what we can do to resolve some of the pain points that our users have so that they're going to have a smoother onboarding process as well. Yeah, we definitely are looking to the Kronos uh, bridging issue, yeah. Okay, um, yeah, so I've pretty much asked him the question. The yeah. I'm going to be hopping on the meter space, uh, meter space right, on YouTube uh, around April 6th. Yeah, mm -hmm. April 6th. So, um, you know, we, we uh, I just remember we usually host around, uh, we usually host the space around um, 1 p.m. Uh, UTC. I accidentally said 9 p.m. because that's when it is in Hong Kong time, but Usually, people also listen to the AMA right after uh, we end the AMA, and then you know we share it with the entire community. And um, there might be some, there might be some questions coming in. Uh, I have joined the you know meter community. I've joined the Discord, uh, the Telegram. There's just an announcement group. But um, you know, once I hop on the meter space, I believe they will have some questions as well, uh, and I'm more than happy to answer it for the meter community. Yeah, sounds good. So, yeah, thank you, thank you so it. much for tuning in. Thank you so much for joining this AMA and, you know, um, telling us what the meter space is all about, meter ecosystem is all about, and, you know, all the alphas that you have shared and the purpose of the the project. I believe now the, the audience has a better idea of what meter chain is and why you guys exist and what issues you are solving. And, you know, you guys are working on something really cool and exciting. So, Thank you so much again for joining. Yeah, thank you so much uh, for inviting me. And uh, yeah, great uh, chatting with you. Thank, thank you so much for, okay. uh, for your time. Yeah, bye. Bye.